A clean sweep is sometimes the only sensible solution when confronting all our unnecessary stuff. Easier said than done. Our cover story is reported by Barry Peterson. Take a drive across America, and along with the mountains and rivers, this is a big part of the passing scenery. Self-storage facilities. There are more of them than Dunkin' Donuts, Subways, or McDonald's combined. Think about that. And that's just for the stuff we can't fit inside our homes, where there's more stuff. Piled in closets, bedrooms, garages, basements. Some of these pictures were sent in by you, Sunday morning viewers suffocating under an avalanche of stuff. That's the whole meaning of life, isn't it? Trying to find a place for your stuff. That's all your house is. Your house is just a place for your stuff. So this is my basement. This is what I like to call organized chaos. Stacy Cerise appreciates the late George Carlin's humor, though she's not exactly in a laughing mood. I would love to purge about 70% of this basement. As she sorts through her possessions in suburban New York, the accumulation of a single mother with two kids. She's a bit desperate. I've been meaning to have a garage sale for 10 years. It's just very overwhelming. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. I don't know where to begin. We're going to have the keep category. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the donate category. And then we may even have a thorough category. She decided to seek professional help. Professional organizer, Rachel Sager. Oh my god, a shoe. I was looking for this. Where are you? Yes. I don't know where the... Oh, here's the other one. Who <laughs> just so happens to be a clinical social worker. I know your lack of attachment and your lack of trauma-based right. accumulation. Right. This is not a hoarding situation. Right, right. This is life situation. Correct. So exactly how do we end up like this? We don't know how to manage our money properly. And so when something is on sale, we feel we might as well get it in every single color. We have so much stuff because we don't do enough research before we make a purchase. We have so much stuff because we are insecure. Rachel Sager is a member of the National Association of Productivity and Organizing Professionals, part of the $1 billion industry, helping the rest of us get the clutter in our lives, out of our lives. Ellen DeLapp is president. She sees in our consumer society the roots of too much clutter. I will find things in bags that have not even come out of the bag. It's the thrill of the hunt. It's the thrill of the purchase sometimes. <laughs> Americans are by far the world's largest consumer culture. Result, an overstuffed closet and occasionally sitcom gold. Oh my God. <laughs> Some people find clutter helps with creativity. Albert Einstein once joked, if a cluttered desk is a sign of a cluttered mind, of what then is an empty desk a sign? He was not alone. Steve Jobs and Mark Twain also had notoriously messy desks. But Claire Reeves, who lives in Houston, wants the clutter out of her life. All right, Ellen, should we tackle the closet? Yes. She turned to Ellen DeLapp for help. So what would you say your goal for this space would be? I, I mean, I like to be able to walk in. Out come the items she bought and will never use. I thought I would use these, but I haven't even opened them. So. And the dresses she will never again wear. Are you ready to release it? I think I'm ready to release it. <laughs> okay, good. Claire Reeves says she learned a lesson about too much stuff from Hurricane Harvey when she helped her neighbors who were flooded out. Just the sheer volume of stuff that had to come out and that just gets trashed. And it just reinforced that if everybody's safe and everybody's healthy, that's what's important in life. Not all of this. Not all of this. Now that you've done this, how do you feel? I feel great. It's like a weight lifted off your shoulders. Except for those of us whose stuff ends up in a storage unit. This is the saddest of all. Now, instead of free garbage, you pay rent to visit your garbage. 
folks on the a and &E hit reality TV show, Storage Wars, might beg to differ when people stop paying the rent. Their storage lockers get put up for auction. You know you want what's in here. The buyers are hoping to find hidden treasure. For this episode, filmed in Van Nuys, California, Ivy Calvin bids. I got three videos and wins. You got some to go. it all to his store, Grandma's Attic, where he says, everything sells. I just know that this business never dies, ever. When the people are having a bad time, they can come here. When their pockets are full, they come here. Raining, snowing, they come here. Adding more clutter is a habit Andrew Mellon hopes to change. This is scarves and hats. The only thing that's in here, scarves and hats. Author of Unstuff Your Life, Mellon has been called the most organized man in America. It will take the same amount of time for you to hang up your coat in the coat closet as it will to drop it on the chair. Listen to his advice about saving old clothes. I feel like I've just given away some part of my youth. I'm not going to be young anymore because the clothes are gone. <laughs> well, you're not going to be young anymore because you're not going to be young anymore. It has nothing to do with the garments that you're wearing. Millen uses his 633-square-foot New York apartment. So short sleeve, then long sleeve as a classroom for his clients. Clutter is nothing more than deferred decisions. And he doesn't even have the luxury of a garage. According to the Department of Energy, 25% of people with two-car garages have no room for the car, and 32% only have room for one. We park cars that are worth tens of thousands of dollars on the street because our garages are full of stuff that in many times is worthless. Yes. Explain that. Because we're not thinking about the choices that we're making. And if you're still on the fence about whether to tackle spring cleaning anytime soon, here's a little gentle persuasion. There's a statistic that says that we waste a year of our life looking for lost or misplaced items. Really? Yes, because it's five minutes here, it's ten minutes there. One sentence to get people off the sofa and starting to declutter what is it? Set yourself free. It's just stuff. It's just stuff. Ahead, we celebrate the Earth.